Now, if you're not already following this Andrew Tate thing, this thing is just way too ironic. And I have to just touch on some of this stuff real quick. So just three days ago, Andrew Tate, the, you know, renowned alpha male specialist of the world, so-called, decided he was going to start picking on Greta Thunberg and bragging about how many cars he has and how much carbon emissions he intentionally causes with his amazing, incredible engines. And Greta Thunberg, of course, replied very nicely with, Yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. <laughs> now, it was pretty much well recognized by almost everyone on Earth that Greta totally tagged this dude. I mean, she nailed him to the wall with this one. It'd be equivalent to her being like, yeah, sure, send me an email or call me at 555, you suck, or something like that. It's, the joke's pretty obvious here. But it wasn't apparently very obvious to Andrew, who got really butter. Take a look. I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, have an enormous emission profile. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is, I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? So here's the options. <laughs> Literally either A, Andrew just doesn't get the joke at all, which wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Or B, his response after 10 hours of thinking about Greta nailing him to the wall in front of the whole world, his response is essentially, nah-uh, you are. But this gets so much better. Just keep watching. I'm not actually mad at Greta. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. Thank you. So I'm actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the matrix. So I have just two comments. First of all, in his response video on Twitter to Greta, where he just demonstrates that he's super butthurt by what she said. In his response video, he asks for pizza to be brought to him and sat on the table in front of everyone while he continued to talk. And he no longer even really mentioned the pizza, except he quickly mentioned, like, we're not going to recycle these pizza boxes. Ha ha ha, F you, Greta, you know. But hasn't pizza been linked as a symbol to other interesting human trafficking rings in the past? Isn't that used as symbology sometimes for human trafficking-esque stuff? So when Andrew Tate went on to inevitably get arrested last night for human trafficking violations because of the QR codes and the address of the pizza box, this is how Greta responded. Yeah, apparently he was wanted in Romania. Whoops.